guys. Today I'm going to be doing, I don't even know what I'm calling this yet. I'm gonna be doing kind of my everyday makeup routine and how I transition it into nighttime appropriateness. What? The past couple of weeks I've been really busy in the morning and not had a lot of time to get ready. Well, actually, correction, I haven't made a lot of time to get ready because I like to sleep. So when I wake up in the morning, I have found a way of doing my makeup that makes me feel like a little bit better, a little bit more alive, I look healthier, I look glowing, but yet it's not over the top. It only takes 10 minutes, it's super easy, but I've gotten really comfortable with this makeup look and I've really been enjoying it. So, and then a lot of times I'll get busy eat later in the day and so I'll transition my makeup from that kind of morning fresh glowy look to a more nighttime, a little bit smokier look. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that I would get on here and show you guys what it is that I do to kind of create that morning look and then transition into a nighttime look. This is just me personally, what I've been doing. I'm not saying in any way you should be doing this exact same routine. If you want a full coverage foundation every single day, I support that. And if you want to do winged liner and lashes every single day, I support that too. This is just what I have been doing and what I've been liking. I'm going through a phase right now where I'm really into the natural lashes. I'm into this lower lash line really smoked out. It's just my thing. And there was a minute there where I was wearing false lashes all the time because my right eye, these lashes were just messed up. Like there was something going on. They were in all different directions. Some of them were falling out. It was just a hot mess. So now I have been embracing my natural lashes again the past couple of weeks because of that. So I'm gonna stop talking. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. So today we are going to be starting with the face. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is just moisturizing my lips. I'm using the Chorus Lip Butter that I mentioned in my most recent February favorites video. Now I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I absolutely love this stuff. I am dry skinned, so I love this because I feel like it really hydrates my skin, makes my foundation last longer and look better because it's not settling into lines or clinging to dry patches. Yes! I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Look Foundation. I'm currently using the shade 5.75. You can use whatever you prefer on a day-to-day -day basis, but this is my favorite foundation ever. I just love the way it lays on my skin. It applies smoothly and it gives a very nice, dewy, very fresh looking face. So I'm going to go ahead, pump that on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to use a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush to apply this. I'm actually gonna spray my foundation brush with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC. This finishing mist. <laughs> this finishing mist has glycerin in it and so that's going to kind of help as like an adhesive and like a glue to the skin. It's also going to shear out the foundation a tiny bit and just make it look very natural and glowy on the skin. So I'm just taking that foundation off the back of my hand and then I'm just going to apply it to the skin. I am not going to put on a thick layer of this foundation. I'm going to go more lightly since we are doing an everyday look. I'll continuously spray that brush just like one time as I'm applying this foundation. And as you can see, my face is much lighter than my neck. That's because I use sunless tanner. And if you guys are wondering what my favorite sunless tanner is, it's Loving Tan. I talked about it a few months ago and it's still my favorite. But anyways, because I use that, my face is a lot lighter than my body because I don't always tan my face and I exfoliate my face all the time. So because of that, I have to take my foundation a few shades darker than my face in order to match my neck and my body. So because I do not have bad dark circles today, I'm gonna do the craziest thing in the world and I'm not gonna be using concealer. <gasps> what? I know. I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of that foundation and just run that slightly on the under eye area. I'm not going in with like a fresh pump of foundation. I am using whatever is left on this brush so I'm barely putting anything on this area. This is honestly just a big time saver not using concealer. But if you feel like you have to have concealer, of course you do you. That's not gonna take away from that natural-esque look. I just feel like I don't personally need it day to day. You know what I'm saying? I would really, really recommend these MAC Prep and Prime highlighting sticks. They come in three different shades. They come in a yellow, a rose, and a peach. So all different skin tones can kind of conceal and correct and brighten at the same time with these. I absolutely love, love, love these concealers, the concealer sticks, highlighting sticks. I think they're just absolutely beautiful and they're a quick, easy way to get the job done. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Oh, I love this stuff. This is like my new obsession. I just started using it about two weeks ago. It has a really, really beautiful brightening effect to it, but yet it's not shimmery. It's not sparkly. It just has this gorgeous glow, which I love. So I'm going to be taking it on just my ring finger and tapping that underneath my eye area. And you will be able to see the difference immediately of what this does. It has like a nice kind of soft pink pearlescence to it, so it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Soleil Tan Day Chanel Cream Bronzer. This is my favorite part. Oh my God, I love this product so much. I've talked about it so much recently. 
I'm going to be using the Sigma Angle Kabuki brush. This is the F84. This is my favorite brush ever to apply this cream bronzer. So I'm just going to take that brush in there, get a generous amount, but then I'm going to tap some of it off on the back of my hand so that it doesn't go on too patchy or anything. I'm just going to take that brush and I'm just going to bronze the cheek area. When I'm applying this bronzer, I constantly tap the product into the skin. I don't drag, I'm just pressing. And as you can see, I'm bringing this bronzer up on like the higher point of my cheekbone because I'm not actually contouring and sculpting the face. I'm bringing like a little bit of a sun-kissed glow to the skin, if you will. So I'm going to bring this up kind of all over the cheek area as opposed to just sculpting the face. I'm going to add some warmth in here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and just put it on the base of the chin. <laughs> Did you just hear my voice crack? I was like, chin! So now for blush, I'm gonna be using this Benefit Majorette, I think it's called, I'm not quite sure. It says on the back that it's a cream to powder blush, which is definitely true because when you first apply it, it applies totally like a cream, but then once it's on the skin, it blends out and looks like a powder. I'm going to be using a MAC 130 brush, which is just a dual fiber kind of short, stiff brush. You can use whatever you want. This is just what's sitting in front of me. Now with this product, as opposed to the bronzer where I was pressing, this one I'm actually rubbing. I'm not pressing this one, I'm kind of rubbing it very light-handedly in circular motions. Now I'm going to fill in my brows, and since I am doing a day-to-day -day look, I'm going to fill them in very, um, what is the term? Lightly. Wow. Get it together. So now I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. I love anything with a little bit of like a peachy undertone because it'll just make everything look a little bit fresher. And on an E40 brush, all I'm gonna do is just lightly dust that back and forth and windshield wiper motions and that's it. This is just gonna give the eye a little bit of definition but no one is actually gonna be like, oh, pretty eyeshadow, you know what I'm saying? It's just gonna make your eyes pop a little bit more and define your crease. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm just gonna kind of pulsate on them for a few seconds. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Oh my gosh, this is my baby. And the top is missing because Georgie got a hold of it and chewed it right off, but whatever. I'm just going to work in zigzag motions, kind of teasing my lashes going up. I'm taking this Revlon lip gloss in the shade Supernatural, and this is a very natural shade. It's got like a little bit of a pink in it, but for the most part, it pretty much is gonna look like your lips, but just a little bit glossier. Okay, so now we have our daytime look complete, and I hope the camera picks it up what I see, because sometimes when I'm editing these videos, I'll be like, why doesn't it look the same? So I really hope that this new lens is picking up the way it looks in person, because in person it just looks so fresh, very natural, very kind of youthful and dewy. So I love this look. I've been wearing it constantly in the past couple of weeks. I feel so comfortable in it. I feel like I look just like myself, but just everything is a little bit more enhanced and just a little bit better. It's a little bit better version of me, not gonna lie. So now I'm going to show you how to take this simple daytime look and transition it into more of a smoky nighttime look. So let's jump into that. Okay, so we are back. It has been about an hour since you last saw me. I let my makeup sit for a little bit. I went and got some water. I did some oh, side shots for my intro. So now we are going to get back into this. Let me just get my hair up real nice and tight. <laughs> first thing I recommend when transitioning your daytime look to a nighttime look is using a damp beauty blender first thing. The reason being is because when you do your daytime look, you're obviously not going to transition it to a nighttime look for hours later or maybe like almost the entire day. By that point, your makeup will maybe be moving. Maybe it'll be settling into some little like fine smile lines or some lines between your eyebrows, which I always get because hello, I make a lot of facial expressions. So I always take a damp beauty blender, get it nice and wet, wring out all the excess water with a towel or a paper towel or anything like that. Then take that and just kind of dab it underneath the eye area. Um, the chin, the smile lines in between the eyebrows. This will just pick up any excess product or if you have dry skin and it's been like clinging onto patches, this beauty blender will just make everything look nice and fresh again. So now I'm gonna be setting my under eye area with some powder and you might be thinking, why didn't you do that for your daytime routine? And the reason why is because I just wanted to have that kind of light, fresh, dewy look underneath my eye and I didn't use concealer underneath my eye so I wasn't gonna have anything creasing. But because I'm about to go in with some darker shades on my lower lash line, I don't want them running or moving down. So I'm going to apply powder underneath my eye area first and that way it'll keep everything in place. Taking that same highlight shade, I'm just gonna put a little bit of it right here on the chin. 
a little bit on the cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow saddle and this is by MAC. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time. I have been using it for years. I'm going in with a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm just going to put that in the crease area and go back and forth. Pretty much the same thing that we did earlier with Peach Smoothie, but now I'm darkening things up a little bit. You ain't got no life. Oh my gosh, this song needs to get out of my head right now. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Peach Smoothie on the E40 brush and just blend that out. Now I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to be using one by Art & Sea and this is the Monster Eyeliner in the shade Black. I've talked about this so many times. It is the best eyeliner ever, especially for your waterline. It is so smooth and so creamy and it doesn't irritate my eyes. I love this stuff. I got mine on Sephora.com. So now I have eyeliner all over my top and my bottom waterline. And you could just leave it like this and move on. It's going to make your eyes look much more squinty and smaller. So I like to go in and smoke out my lower lash line because I think that it brings more of like a kind of sexy smoky look to the eyes as opposed to this can just kind of close your eyes a little bit and make them look kind of squinty. Some people can really pull this off. I do not like the way it looks on me. So I'm gonna go in and smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a Sigma E15. This is a flat shader brush. And I'm going to pick up this dark brown right here. This is Mac and Bark. It's just super dark. I don't wanna go in with a black quite yet because I don't want it to be that dramatic. So taking this dark brown, I'm just going to push this right on that lower lash line and then just begin to move back and forth. Okay, so I want you to see how messy this lower lash line looks right now and just very harsh, just to kind of show you like the steps and the process of what we're gonna do. So next we're gonna grab a pencil brush and we're gonna blend that out. But you can see right now, it's super jaggedy. It is not flattering at all, but we will change that by the next step. So now I'm gonna go back in and grab Mac Saddle again on a pencil brush. And I'm gonna just take this and go directly over that dark brown that we just placed. And I'm gonna go all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner back and forth. Here we go. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes again just to get more volume back in them. I'm gonna be using Milani Luminoso Blush and a Morphe G8 to apply that just for a little bit of a refresher on my blush and just a little bit of a glow. Then for my favorite part, I'm going to highlight my cheeks. I'm going to use Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light, and I'm using a Morphe M501 brush. I talked about this in my favorites. This is like the best brush ever for highlighting, and I'm just going to take that on the tops of my cheekbones. Yes! I'll take a little bit of that, put it on the chin. I'll take a little bit, put it on the cupid's bow. I'll take a little and put it on the inner corner of the eye. I'll take a little bit and put it on the brow bone. I'll just put this all over my face. And you can use any color of lipstick will match this. You can use a hot pink, you can use a dark red, you can do whatever. I'm just gonna do a pink lip. I'm going to use my lipstick by Gerard. Why did I just check the bottom? I looked like, what's the name of this? Even though I named it, this is Buttercup Lipstick. Then I'm gonna go over that with Buttercream Lip Gloss. And done. Ah, this clip was, I had this clip in my hair the whole time and it was hurting my head so bad. Oh, it feels so good. All right, you guys, so that completes this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy this day, tonight, makeup routine transitioning, not even sure what I'm calling this video yet. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. I'm just living life. <laughs> Okay, why is that happening? Ah! Try to make it right.